What's happening, La Familia? What the business is? What y'all got going today? How y'all doing, family? Y'all know what time it is. Time to rock out again. And if you didn't see that last upload, I mean, go check it out. That's all I'm saying, though, family. But uh, shout out to Kirsten Robinson, 660, Miss Kirsten Robinson, a queen tapping in with the IG family. You already know it's all love. And then shout out to Y Player Dre, you know, shout out to you, King, for tapping in, you know, with that Instagram family. And then we got Ratchet IJ, you know what I'm saying? Uh, part of the TBG family, the Cut of Living Entertainment family. You know, shout out to you, King, you know, for tapping in, you know, with the La Familia. You know, man, I appreciate the love, man. Y'all know we're going to rock out today. We got a few topics to talk about and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? So uh, without further ado, let's make it happen. But first, family, make sure you respect our house. Bye. Wipe your feet when you walk in the door. You know, that's what the liking is for. And then uh, shut the door, you know, by subscribing and go ahead and lock it. That way, can't no suckers get in here, you know, by ringing that bell icon and turning them post notifications on. Also, leave a comment after the video. Let me know what you think, you know, what you like and what I can do better, as well as sharing the video and whatnot. And with that being said, let's get to it. Believe it up, get up, get up, get up. First and foremost, La Familia. We got the man from the West Coast coming by way of Los Angeles, Mr. Bond. YG, 400. And uh, he was pretty much out, man, you know, doing his thing. Enjoying life, man. You know, having fun and whatnot. So y'all check this out. Oh! <laughs> That's why I'm trying to backflip because I can jump backwards and flip. Yeah, I'm yeah. finna. Nah, <laughs> Who ain't? Who? Get your camera ready. Now I'm glad to see that man still out enjoying life even after losing a partner, a day one partner that you had before you ever even came in the game. You know, a stay down till you lay down. Stay one day one. Y'all know what that is. That's 100, man. Rest in peace to Slim 400. And one more thing, man, before we hop off of YG. Man, the only person I see that still rep his name every single day is Ice Water Rock. Ice Water Rock, man, is destroyed by that loss man he loved his brother to the grave and back but i ain't gonna put all that pressure on that man yg you know everybody grieve in their own way i'm not gonna say you know he really ain't feeling it because he might be i'm not that man nor am i around that man so i don't really much know but i will say this man rest in peace the slim foe shout out to yg for enjoying life and whatnot now let's go ahead and move on believe that negative 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 next up we got that man's coming by way of Fort Worth, Texas. You know, the murder work and murder gang PB. Peanut butter to be exact. As he has some things to say on Instagram about the people that surround him and whatnot. You know, the squares that he's seeing in his circle. And we all know squares just don't fit in the circle. That just ain't going to work out right. Y'all know. But he says, my whole life when I didn't have nothing, somehow I had to give on my mama. But now I can't be there for nobody no more. Because when I need somebody, nobody never there. On AGG or Agland G's, no cap. And that is most definitely 100. When you got a given spirit, people seem to want to take and step on you as much as possible. Ain't it crazy though, man? Whenever you have a given spirit, it seems hard to find another person who has a given spirit. But then my, my boy Murder Game PB goes on to say, Nobody never gave me nothing. I ain't have no big homie coming up. I just show respect to the ones before me. That's 100. That's why my little partner slash brothers call me. I'm coming now. Nah, they ain't did nothing for me in y'all head. But I know what's up with, with them. They say the streets don't love you back. And that's facts on everything. That's facts, y'all. 
for real talk. Not in my situation. Streets just brought me some pain and scars. I'll never lose. If it if it if it wasn't for the streets, I wouldn't be who I am today. That's how I feel. And that is 100 as well. You know, if it wasn't for the streets, I wouldn't be who I am today. You know, I wouldn't be able to come and speak to y'all, you know, with a lot of wisdom. You know, honestly, man, I like to look at myself like a wise person nowadays because of everything I've been through, you know, as far as going through the streets and whatnot. But the streets do not love you back. And the only thing they're going to give you is scars and pains. There ain't no riches in the streets. You know, you ask the people who got rich off the streets, they had to fall back for a second and focus on themselves and focus on their paper. Because as long as they was running the streets with their partners and whatnot, only thing they was doing was handing stuff out. You had to fall back and learn how to, you know, stand on a dollar and say, you know, stack it up. But then he goes on to say, like they say, money don't make you happy. It's just you can do a lot more with it. Check on your homies if you really love them. Never know what's going on in their head. They feelings is what counts. Because when they go, when they gone, you ain't going to be able to feel nothing. Only imagine that they still here. 100% facts. That man also went on to say he logging off after this. You know what he should, man. That was a good way to go out. Letting people know, man, that you got to check in on your loved ones. Check in on the ones you really feel for. Because once they gone, man, there ain't no going back. There ain't no turning back. You can't touch them again. None of that. Y'all won't see each other again unless, you know, that person make it to the right place. And you do as well. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, it's the last time you're going to see them, man. So make sure you extend a hand and show love, man, to the people that you love. Stop being selfish, man. I never could understand a selfish person, man. Everything on this earth is material. You know, as long as you give, you will get it right back. That's the law of the universe. That's the way the universal God, the most high God, created this thing. But let's go ahead and move on, fam. Next up, we got Mads and them by way of Alabama. You know, big blur. You know, Mr. Honeycomb Bryce. And uh, he says, if I took our video down off YouTube, it's because you, blank, did some, you know, HO3 stuff, you know, or you messing with the law. Basically, you right. Hashtag, long live, baby brother. My mind really going to get it left with you, man. And I don't care about nothing no more or nobody, family and all. So as you can see, man, this man, Honeycomb Brazy, building a new way of thinking for him. You know, since he lost his little bro in there, it's really got him messed up. And uh, he ain't messing with nobody, man. He taking videos down at all. Even if, you know, it's taken away from his revenue, he don't care. He just like, man, you know, if you a buster, you got to get away from me. All suckers is going. I don't care if I loved you or not. If I've been knowing you was a buster, but I let it go because I loved you. Now my baby brother gone. Now I really don't much care about nobody. And I'm standing on that business. And that's how he's feeling right now. But I would advise, you know, Honeycomb Brazy, that you really evaluate, you know, who you cutting ties with and make sure that you got all your facts straight you know but in there you know now he has a clear mind you know he's away from the drugs he has completely withdrew from all of that and his body is getting all right you know so uh now that he's detoxed he's kind of thinking with a clear mind man but uh, a little more time will always tell man so a little bit longer and he'll really be thinking about who really ain't for him and who really is man so we'll see what is to come from honeycomb brazy man keep your head off big dog and keep doing your thing man now let's go ahead and move on next up we got that man's bbg block coming out of the rack you know baton rouge to be exact and uh he had a few things to say as he says you're gonna regret opening your effing mouth. Woo! Them some powerful words. Then he goes on to say, I then, I done been in, uh, you know, what fights, fist fights, knife fights, and, uh, and urine fights. I might not be the biggest G in the world, but I ain't got a, a percentage of female dog in me. Yeah, man. Gotta be that way. Gotta stand on business. You know, and I don't think, like I said, man, I don't think BBG block a buster. I really think, you know, he gonna stand on something and he stand for something. But who y'all think he could have been talking about with that one? You know what I'm saying? Man, that was a powerful shiggity, man. But then we got this man, Gas House G5. As you know, he gets into it. Well, he said something to Tootie Raw. I don't think they was really getting into it. They partners, man. But he was kind of upset about the fact that, you know, uh, Tootie Raw did something to his beautiful car. You know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead and check this one out. Bro, what the f is wrong with it? I got it fixed. What is he talking about? Hey, 
I showed the real. Two different braids right there, man. Man, what? Look, I'm zooming in. I'm zooming in, bro. Tootie, hot, hot for that, man. You can't be playing with nobody car like that, man. But then we got, you know, Boosie and one of his little nephews as he go ahead and send shiggities at the opposition, TBG and all of them. As he says, all that talking for the birds, I'm always on location. Come get your blank pushed back. Yeah, you sending shiggities, shiggities, ain't you? Then he goes on to say, jump inside this water, ain't no person that can save you. If he survive when I step, he gonna be a pickle. A pickle, he trying to turn him into deal. Then he goes on to say, Rasta man, hope you got your iron. Bumper clock kill my mans, I can't let that slide. Ooh wee, that man tripping, tripping. You know, you see him sending the shiggities. Now who y'all think he's sending them at? I gave y'all my opinion. Now let me know y'all's down in the comment section right now. And then we got that man, Boosie Boy B, as he listening to Tootie. And also sending the shiggy that might went over, you know, a lot of people's head. Of course, we all know who he's sending his shiggies at. He love to do them, but check this out. But I say, turn me up for something. Yeah, we all know who he talking to. He trying to mess with something. Then we got Herm the Black Sheep. As he says, I don't have ops, but every dude who don't uh, who don't like me is broke and want to be in my position. But you can't do it. Blunky with the laughing emojis and like the hands up, you know, like the oh well or, you know, so what or whatever, man. What would you call them little emojis with the hands up like that? I never knew, man. But then he goes on to say, you know, all y'all dudes together ain't got, ain't worth 25K. Cap! But hey, it is what it is. Then we got that man's uh, Ben 10, as he says, I am NBA. Let it be known he NBA. Yeah, he might be MGNG, but he's still NBA. And then he also shares a pic, you know, of somebody broad, you know, topping him up. And basically says, you know, I'm going to take this pic down before your man see it. But then, man, you know, he was wilding on IG and went on to say, you know, that Top's album should be dropped, you know, here pretty soon this week. And then also uh, releases the fact that, you know, uh, that man's D-Dog will be released from jail in exactly two days, man. So uh, that's exclusive info that this man is letting be known. Now, y'all go ahead and listen to him and pay attention to everything he had to say. Uh, with this. Yeah. How when your Valentine's, huh? Huh? Not you. Why you out in the back of my video trying to get in my little big head? Stupid. Six hundred over three hundred degrees. <laughs> my brother just told me ready to turn this album in. Ooh, no play. Man, stop pulling, Tay. Pew. 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 Hold on, back in this. Oh, there you go. He flying this. <laughs> we flying this. Come. Hold on, fly. Fly this. Stupid dumbass. We'll fly with us. I am like on three today. Free D dog. He come home and mother. Two days, if the calculator's time hey, the right dude. way. Hey, Holmes. What's up, AC? Got some of this angel does home. Hold on. Some of this angel does home. Come here, dude. <laughs> I like these glasses. I ain't <laughs> You pull it. Yeah, partner, I most definitely ain't feeling them glasses. Wouldn't be rocking them myself. But as y'all can see, man, he said D-Dog will be released in two days. And also said, you know, Top's album just uh, well, just turned in and it should be getting dropped pretty soon. So he giving out the exclusive. But I don't think a lot of people paid attention to that. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, yeah, man, y'all seen him going crazy with the filters and whatnot. That's that man's business. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And next up. We got, you know, BWA and TBG side, you know, as we got this man's Kevin Gates. And Kevin Gates has something to say on IG to all the suckers, busters, and haters. 
Like, like this just it's sentimental when you say that. And I you ain't gotta get aggressive with it when you say it, but you know, hey, in real life, I dive off in I know this and you know this. I dive off in your sh Dive. My boy KG switched it on, up on us real fast, man. You ain't know what to expect from the beginning. You thought he was going to come smooth and humble. Man, y'all better leave my boy KG alone. He's just trying to live his best life and be humble and whatnot. Somebody always coming for that man. But let's go ahead and move on. And then we got this man, Seven Hardaway. His Seven Hardaway phone gets hacked. And uh, he had to get a new number. So he says, my other phone was hacked. Had to get a whole new, uh, a whole new joint with new number. It's crazy. Who the F hacks the phones, though? Weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man, it's all kind of weirdos out here, man, across the world who love to hack that type of stuff because it's important info in there. You know, that way they can, you know, go ahead and book you for some money, man. You know, them white collar crimes, blue collar crimes. But then next up, we got this, man. Cleasy 5 is Cleasy 5, and this is probably the biggest news of the day. Comes out, you know, with a little shiggity at those who've been messing with his opposition. As he says, I see dudes that I help get their first bag and show them how to keep a bag. Be all hugged up with my ops laughing and posing for pictures and stuff. I said that to say this. Ain't no love in this stuff. I'm in tune with reality in my bag like a dog. Hashtag landlord with the laughing emojis and the exclamation points letting it be known he's standing on that he really feeling that one and that's the way you're supposed to move Cleasy. we ain't got to tell you nothing but the respect should be garnered for Cleasy as much as it is for boosie if not more because Cleasy is a bigger dog to boosie as well you know and Cleasy then showed a lot of people how to maneuver and get their bag man so he deserves a lot more respect than he's he's giving honestly let's just be a honey whether you're up or not you got to respect them at the end of the day i think you know Cleasy is the one who started the whole wave that Boosie wasn't even trying to start, really. You know, it wouldn't be no NBA camp if it wasn't for Cleasy. If it wasn't for Cleasy installing that time in the YB and showing him what it takes to be that. You know, if it wasn't for them mentoring him and giving him all of that time, man, it wouldn't be no NBA. You know, we wouldn't have no, the music wouldn't be what it is today. Honestly, let's just be real, you know. I'm just saying, so you got to get that credit to where credit is due. And if you can't, man, then you ain't you ain't being real to yourself, man. You know, but y'all let me know y'all thoughts on all these topics down in the uh, the comment section. Like I said, man, y'all ain't got to agree with me. I ain't got no problem if y'all don't agree with me, man. Just uh, make sure, you know, you keep it respectful the same way I'm going to respect you. You know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect me. I ain't going to disrespect you. And that's just what it is. Now, Fredo Bang did drop this new song called Four Times. We're going to get into that tomorrow. This video already ran on. Make sure you like subscribe ring that bell icon turn them post notifications on drop a comment you know share, tell me what you like about the video and what you don't like and with that being said oh share the video as well with that being said i'm out Believe it up. Believe it up.